In Ray Bradbury's classic futuristic novel, Fahrenheit 451, the government had these firemen that went around burning every book they could get a hold of. And the reason they did that was to make sure people would never be able to think. They'd get rid of all the books and all the ideas. They would censor everything. Now, Ray Bradbury went on to talk about the book in a coda to in, in, in a later edition where he said that what's going to happen someday is every group from uh, the Baptists, the fundamentalists, to the minorities. He went down the list of all these different groups that were sooner or later going to have a complaint. They were going to be the firemen of the future. They were going to get rid of all ideas that just possibly offended them. Uh, and this kind of highlights what we're facing over this chimpanzee cartoon that ran in the New York Post. Uh, Sean Delonis is uh, having two policemen shoot a chimpanzee, which came out of an incident that actually happened with a woman who was sleeping with the chimpanzee who attacked um, someone in her own home and the police had to kill it. Uh, if you look at the cartoon, it's very, very difficult to get where uh, the idea that might be President Obama or anybody. In fact, the cartoon uses the word they. It was talking about Congress. But uh, what's happened is some minorities have attached on that, made this real furor and uh, uh, overblown the whole incident to the point where they're wanting the editor fired, the, the New York Post to lose its FCC license. And the real reason, if you read it carefully, I mean, Al Sharpton has said it, it's offensive. But the point is that uh, the basis of freedom, the basis of free speech is offense. Offense is sacred in this country. It always has been. The man who wrote the First Amendment, James Masson, said that the purpose of the First Amendment is, is to protect the minority against the majority. And what he was talking about there was not racial minorities or any kind of minorities like that. He was talking about that minority of folks who are going to offend because most people don't. So as you study this issue, uh, it has a little, very little to do with racism. It's more political correctness. In fact, political correctness is a monster that's running rampage over our country and it's going to destroy free speech. In fact, if we don't do something about political correctness, I predict the death of free speech. Uh, we have lost the concept that because we disagree with someone, they have a right to say it. People have a right to hate. They don't have a right to go out and kill anybody, but they have a right to hate. And we may think that's wrong. They have a right to say things we don't like. But that's the genius of freedom, and that's what we have to protect. If we don't protect that, then in the end, I don't think we're going to have any freedoms at all. We need a free marketplace of ideas for everybody's viewpoint, the fellow on the street corner that you don't like. And the key to the First Amendment is it's like a steam valve. We want those people out there that we don't agree with and whom we might think are crazy or weird or hateful. We want to see them out on the street corner speaking. We want, to, we want them to let off their steam. Why? We don't want them to go underground and become terrorists. And that's the genius of the First Amendment. It lets people blow off steam. But if we want to bottle it up, we're going to regret it. We're going to create some really strange folks out there that have uh, something to say, and our politically correct society is going to say you can't say it. They're going to label it hate speech or whatever. They're going to go underground, folks. We're going to get violence. So we need a free marketplace of ideas. We have to be really careful that we don't annihilate people out there that we don't agree with, which we're seeing happening with this cartoon in the New York Post. Uh, the Reverend Al Sharpman and other people in the black leadership are basically trying to annihilate and destroy the free press and this cartoonist. We simply can't do that because somebody offends us. Uh, uh, if we do, again, I'll say it very clearly, we're going to lose any concept of free speech in the United States.